I spent the afternoon on the chainsaw, so starting to get on top of it. Who knew the firewood was going to land in our own backyard this year? It's about the closest that I've ever had to go to get it. <laughs> Cut it from up there, throw it in there. That is supposed to be up there. Let's see. Cheek. I think the most amazing thing is, is we still have internet cable. Too bad there's no electricity to run anything. <laughs> this part over here is a big mess. That's the most depressing thing for me right there. We've been nurturing these two little locust trees for five years, so eventually they would take over and we could cut these big ones down. Well, guess what? There's one of them right underneath that mess. Yeah, this is just plain depressing. There's the tag of when we bought the tree. There's the tree at the moment. And here's what's on top of it. Uh, I think we're uh, giving our kayak the true test of toughness and endurance. I think there's a kayak under there still, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just need to clear everything out. Maybe tomorrow I can climb up there on the roof and get those guys down. That's going to be fun. Got most of this area cleared out, so now we can at least get to the water for the horses. This tree's been through a few storms now. I guess that was the top. But the rest of it's okay. Be a little shorter now. The willow tree, on the other hand, is another disaster. This guy pretty much self destructed. That was up about 25 feet higher, but it's all taking care of itself. Self pruning tree now. You know the crazy thing about all this? This is the robins came back this week. <laughs> I think they're a little early. I think their travel agent might have screwed up the reservation. But they're here. So that's a good sign.